Today we're gonna to try out some super spicy peppers and we're gonna talk about what it takes to keep a marriage alive after all these years. Hey buddy, you ready to go? Yeah. Did you get a buzz cut? Yeah. It looks pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> Hey folks, welcome back to the vlog. Still pregnant, no baby yet, coming soon. But today, we're on our way to find the hottest sauce, the hottest hot sauce, hopefully to kick this labor into action. What, I can't say that? I'm not eating hot sauce. <laughs> All right, well, maybe we'll just get some Thai food. Okay, so we decided to get out of the house, get some food, and talk to you guys about why we are still married after all of these years. Right, my dear? That's right. Okay, y'all ready for Thai food? Yeah! How was it for us? Good. Okay. So the past couple of days, we've been feeling fairly nostalgic as we wait for the baby, so we've been looking through old baby photos and just reminiscing about the early years of our marriage before we had kids. We've been married for now 12 years, with baby five on the way. We've had hard times, we've had fun times, and here is a certainly memorable moment. This is four out of five spicy, and they say three is the hottest that anyone in the whole area serves. This isn't even, this is like milder than your soup was. I don't know, I guess we'll have to go get some hot sauce. Okay, so the Thai food was excellent. And looking back on those videos from early in our marriage before we had kids, it just makes me wonder how we made it this far, quite honestly. And we'll share some tips with you here toward the end. But right now, enjoy another quick clip while we're on our way to our next stop. Okay, I think I have three seriously hot contenders for this afternoon's marriage advice. Stay tuned. Okay, we have our hot sauces. And just in case they're not hot enough, we got some habaneros. Lindsay, are you ready for this? Not really. I think Forrest wants to join us too. Okay. All right, come on over, Forrest. We're gonna start with the mildest hot sauce. You'll go first to give us one tip on keeping our marriage healthy all these years. Are you ready for the first one? Sure. All right. All right, the first one is a uh, jalapeno-based hot sauce. These are all local organic sauces from the community. Ready? I'm gonna dab this on here. Okay, here we go. This is for the baby. That's not very spicy. That's not. No. Learning to see things from the other person's perspective, even if it's like a seemingly trivial thing, that's important and that's something I'm still learning. So you call that be being a good sport? Yeah, or just being <clears throat> like um, flexible to work together to see things from each other's perspective. Okay. Yeah. Sort of like you embarking on this spicy food challenge with me? Right. Nice. But that was not spicy at all. That wasn't. Let's do number two. <laughs> okay, the next one is roasted ghost sauce with uh, boot jolica chili peppers. Let's see how this one is. We're gonna give a, you're gonna get a little bit yeah, more. Yeah, you're gonna have to load it up this time. Load it up. Cheers for the baby. <laughs> spicy. Very flavorful. Yeah. It's got a little bit of an afterbite. It was spicier than the last one. Spicier than the last one. Okay, my tip would be th the number one thing that I have needed to work on and still need to work on is patience. Sort of like encouraging and challenging and pressing forward with Lindsay, with our family, but but not doing it too forcefully or, or too quickly. So I'm learning 
over the years as I get old and gray? Not yet. <laughs> uh, yeah. To be more patient. Yeah. And let them come along at their own pace. Next we have Fire from the Mountain, and these are smoked serranos and poblanos. I think the serranos are the hot ones in this. Serranos, for the baby. Cheers. It's hotter than the last one. Yeah. That's the hottest one. Is your nose running yet? Mm. All right. Well, after looking back through all these old clips that we had from our early marriage and everything, it made me really think that you just need time. You just need like forgiveness, <laughs> like being able to not to hold past things, but to forgive and to move forward together. Is it getting hotter? It just burns my tongue. <laughs> okay, well, I would say those were hottish, but not not super hot. Yeah. So let's do. We're gonna take a bite of the of the habanero. How about you bite off the tip? And I'll bite off the I rest. I think it's a good idea. I think it's a horrible idea. <laughs> <laughs> you got this. It's not spicy. I've had it. Okay. My last piece of advice. Mmm, <sighs> it tastes like orange. <laughs> oh, wow. Orange. I got a little heat there. That's got some heat to it. I'm gonna get the hiccups, I can tell already. I wash it down with a serrano. Are serranos hot? This is a bad idea. Oh boy, I feel the hiccups. <laughs> the seeds. It was the seeds. One of us is going to be in labor by the end of this. How can you be in labor? <laughs> My last piece of advice <clears throat> is to keep things spicy. And what I mean by that is to mix things up in your life. If you find that you're getting stuck in a rut or in a bad habit or what do you call that? Just a bad a pattern. Just patterns, yeah. We all get in patterns, communication patterns or, or patterns of reacting to things. If you find yourself doing that, mix things up. Go, um, what am I trying to say here? This is hot. Get some spicy peppers. Get some spicy peppers. <laughs> <laughs> and make things happen. Just make changes in your life. Don't get stuck in old patterns, but look for a renewing of your heart and your mind. And your input would be? To try to look for, to consider one another from a, a place of love. That's right. <laughs> then I love you. Oh, I love you. Okay, folks, I'm gonna take a, a bite of the Serrano now, and that's gonna be the end of it. Hopefully the next time you see us, we'll have a baby. If not, we hope to have something else encouraging to share with you. <laughs> Until then, God bless you. We love you guys. And what, Joseph? And we'll see you next time. And we'll see you next time. Oh boy, that one's kicking in. Oh, here. Here, try a bite of this. Do Come on. Father, it's gonna make you have the baby. I don't think boring. it will. Ah. Uh. All right. See you next time.